All right. Let's talk about uh, something that's going on in Colorado. And I'm yes. sure some drivers in Colorado, like Steve and Tony, if you're here, and a couple others are probably going to be a little happy or possibly happy to see something like this. But, uh, you know, last year we had uh, Stephanie V. Hill on uh, behind the wheel talking about the bill that she introduced into Colorado, and that was uh, the transparency bill, which basically would allow drivers and passengers and customers to see how much everything was. So they would know um, what the driver was making, what Uber or DoorDash or anybody was taking. Uh, same thing with the driver. They would know what's being um, all done and transparent. Um, and, you know, it and unfortunately had uh, been um, shoved into the fire and burned up and never came to fruition. And, uh, you know, it came down to, I think, what, one vote uh, who switched side. Well, and, um, yeah. That well, person. They, 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 Stephanie V. Hill is on our channel. She was the sponsor last year for an exactly very similar bill that's coming to Colorado. So we're moving people. Chicago, yeah. but Minneapolis, what's Denver. We're moving. We're moving. So there is shit happening. And I'm seriously, I'm really involved with all of the shit. So now I want to personally, and I, I'm hoping he comes on. Okay. Um, there is a bill that uh, was just introduced in the Colorado Senate. It's called Rideshare Transparency and Deactivation Bill, SB 2475. And this was... Long time coming. Now, this is, again, stop screaming over there when I say uh, there is no earnings increase involved in this. There is two out of the three. One, complete utter transparency. One, meaning the driver sees what the passenger is paying immediately on the ping screen, okay? And the passenger, more importantly, more importantly, the passenger will be seeing what the driver is making. So when you all email me saying, oh, Serge, he paid 50, I made 15, and you don't get tipped anymore is because of that, because Uber ripped a good one to that rider. Now the rider is going to see, holy shit, I paid 15, this poor man who was doing the work only got 15. Number one, great idea. Total transparency on both sides. Number two, no more unjust deactivations, meaning you don't get fired by a bot. You will have your voice in front of a panel, human, to put your case on because when they deactivate you, Chris, they don't tell you which trip, who complained, oh, they go privacy of the passenger, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, no. So these two things are in this bill, okay? Now, who is the sponsor of this bill? That is a backstory to this. The backstory of this is, um, you can go to the next uh slide up top senator kevin priola of colorado senator okay so yes, my story was interesting this. about that <laughs> isn't that interesting bro isn't that interesting my story oh, with senator kevin priola real quick um when stephanie v hill who was a doordash driver before she got elected to the house she literally was doordash driver for three years and then she introduced this type of bill now all these people are Democrats, so is Stephanie V. Hill, okay? Kevin Priola and Robert Rodriguez, the two senators, killed this bill last year, okay, in the committee. It wouldn't even allow it to go to a vote. And they're all Democrats, by the way. Figure this shit out, right? So about six months ago, I went to Denver for Steve Rideshare Rodeo's event, which was a town hall meeting, which Stephanie V. Hill whose bill was killed by these two. And I went on a Twitter rant and called these two sellouts. I said, you, how much Uber paid you? I said everything possible without cussing, okay? And what happens to that town hall meeting? 6-4, 280, Kevin Priola walks in. Everybody was like, oh, Serge, he's here, he's here. I'm like, okay, fine. So I gave him my card. I literally took him hostage for close to 45 minutes and had a great private conversation, explained everything to him. And I swear to God, he listened to all 45 minutes very intently. Then we tag team with Kim, uh, Side Money Plans, and Zach, Drives Fast. They're the delivery people. Boom, I tag team with them. They talked to him 
he you know to him for about 15 20 minutes and he left and to my surprise two days ago when i opened my eyes in the morning this was in my mailbox the oh. guys who killed the similar bill last year now are the prime sponsors for the right chair transparency bill in colorado kevin priola much respect open invitation to show me the money club much respect i'm not saying i had anything to do with it but let me tell you something he listened so intently we turned our apps on showed him everything that's going on i swear to god chris he did not know anything remember we talked about this yep. ourselves when i got back from denver and he listened and he listened and now he is the prime sponsor so this is how the shit works people so in your own cities go do the same go talk to your city councilors Go talk to your legislators, email them, call them, bombard them. This is how this shit's going to work. And all I'm saying to you is that it worked. Now we have a bill with those two sponsors. I'm pretty sure it's going to pass. And Mr. Priola and Senator Rodriguez, if you need any help, I'll fly to Denver. We'll talk to Uber and Lyft because they're going to come say, oh, we don't like it because we're giving up the privacy of the passenger who got assaulted. I'm like, yeah, what about the driver that got assaulted? What about that? Mm -hmm. So... I love it. I, I am so thrilled that when I saw bro, he was the prime sponsor. I was like, yes, something <laughs> happened. Something good happened. There you go. Well, he definitely must have had a conversation and change of heart after that conversation he because did. Did. for him to bring it back on and sponsor it. I'm just surprised Stephanie's not on that bill, though. Um, so either way. Well, Stephanie's um, on board. I talked to Steve. Stephanie likes the bill. So she's mm -hmm. going to support. Yeah. Well, that's good. So. Either way, um, some more changes are coming in different areas, uh, and it'll be interesting to see. So, I can't do it here, buddy. Ken, you got to do it. You got. You need grassroots movements. Who did we have last week, Chris? Malda, Minnesota Uber and Lyft Drivers Association. Eat Elite. They started with 10 drivers on a Facebook group. Look where they are. They're about to pass an ordinance in Minneapolis. This is not going to work by just saying, what are you doing for me? I'm like, no, you guys got to do some legwork. You got to go put Facebook groups. Driver groups, when you're in queue at the airport, pass flyers, start talking, start a grassroots movement. We will find friendly ears to listen to us. And that's it. I know some people don't like legislation, but we're at the point that the only way we can bring these people to the table, you know, I'm talking Uber Lyft, is legislation. So actually, it's not just legislation. It's the threat of legislation. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what we need to get to. And Mr. Uh, Senator Priola, much respect, much love, open invitation anytime. There you go. Well, I think you're going to have to reach out to him on, on Twitter and be like, hey, <laughs> would you like I to did. come on? And talk about I did, I did, I did. Oh, I nice. even emailed his office. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.